Hi everyone, welcome to the third video on Docker Learning Series for Network Engineers. In the previous video we have seen how to run Ubuntu image and install Ubuntu container into the machine. We will verify that containers. So I will execute the command docker ps. You can see none of the containers are listed because it is not running. So if I execute ps-a it will list out all the containers. You can see here it is down and exited two hours ago. Now to start the container. So I have two containers, my Ubuntu and my Ubuntu 2. So I'll start this container, my Ubuntu. So to start the container, the command is docker start the container name, my Ubuntu. Now to go inside terminal of this container, the command is docker attach my Ubuntu. Now I am inside this container. Now if you see the IP address, okay, uh, here we cannot see IF config output because I haven't installed net tools. Yeah, I have installed ping tool in the previous video. So the commands I executed earlier were, one was apt update. And another was apt install iputils hyphen ping. So right now I have ping utility installed. Now let's check the resource utilization of this machine. So the command is docker stats. You can see this machine is using 2 MBF RAM. Now to install IF config command support, we need to install net tools. First, we'll install that. So the command is apt install net hyphen tools. So it is uh, connecting to internet and installing all the packages. Now let's verify. Yeah, now you can see. I am receiving I have config output. Now from my host machine if I try to ping 172.17.0.2 I am able to ping it. Now if you want to install text editor apt install vim yes. so it will download uh, text editor and install it in this container. Okay, it is getting installed. In the meantime, we'll check the network status. So the command is docker network inspect bridge. This command I showed in the previous video. You can see my Ubuntu IP is 172.17.02 and gateway is 01, my host machine. Yeah, now it is installed. Now let me try pinging to 172.17.01. I am able to ping. Now let me try SSH to that. SSH. That is the username of that machine. 172.17.01. SSH command not found. Because I, I don't have SSH client installed in this. Because I just uh, pulled a default image from uh, Docker Hub. So let me install SSH client. The command is apt. So everywhere in apt, the actual command is apt get. apt get install open SSH hyphen client. It is downloading open SSH uh, client. Now let me try SSH connection. Now it is allowing me to SSH to another machine. So let me give the password. Yeah, this is my host machine, the same machine. I am able to SSH from my container machine, Ubuntu container machine. I'll exit out 
out of that machine now if I try SSH to this SSH root at 172.17.02 the container is uh, refusing the connection because I haven't enabled SSH server here so for that what we can install OpenSSH server I'll give OpenSSH server give yes it is downloading the open search package from internet and installing it in the container I'll give my region Yeah, now this has installed OpenSSH server. Now let me set a password for root user. I'll set a password. Yeah, now let me try SSH to this machine. Still, it is refusing the connection. Let me start the service. Service SSH start. Okay, let me try connecting. Yeah, now it is accepting the connection. Because in my host, earlier we had another host registered with the same IP. I'll give root password but we'll see whether it accepts or not it is not accepting the password because by default uh, the root password is not enabled so we'll enable that so for that uh, we need to edit etc ssh ssh d file ssh slash ssh d file here you can see permit root login we need to edit this you can give yes here and i'll restart this service let me try ssh to this machine now now from my host machine i am able to access my container using ssh connection you can see here in the future videos we will see how to expose this to external network if you want if you can expose either complete container or particular port number or particular service we will see those in detail in the future videos ok i will close this ssh connection now we'll install Ansible. APT install Ansible. Now it is downloading all the Ansible packages. Yeah. 
now we will install even python pip package apt install python 3 hyphen pip yeah I'll pause the video for now. Yeah, now uh, Python 3 installation has been completed. Now we'll install Paramico because uh, for interacting with Cisco devices, we need Paramico library in Python. So pip3 install Paramico. Yeah, we'll see the Python. Here is just Python three eight two. Even we have enabled SSH to this. So the things what we have done here, we installed net tool for IF config, then IP util ping we installed, then a text editor we installed Vim, then we installed open SSH client and server. Then Ansible also we installed. So in the next video, we'll see how to run an Ansible playbook and configure a Cisco device or get the configuration. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.